Alright guys, what we have here is a 2017 Street Glide Special. Uh, brand spanking new. First thing I noticed about this thing is these Harley guys put the shift levers. Actually, I, I redid this already and put it as low as it can go, but it was originally like right up here. I remember that. So, the problem is, is you get on this bike and you're riding down the freeway you know, you're cruising and you go to shift, you gotta lift your whole goddamn leg up, step on the shift lever, right? So, and not only that, if you got a size, I, I think these are nine and a half, ten shoes, it barely fits in between them. I mean, what fucking asshole came up with this, am I right? So, if you got more than a size ten shoe, what are you gonna do? Stick it on top of the lever and just go like this down the street? Maybe that was their theory behind it, I don't freaking know. But anyways, I got some extended shift levers. They're basically one inch longer than the stock ones on here. I believe they're eight now, and a half inches. The stock are around seven and a half. This is around eight and a half. Um, she's, a that's, beaut, that's, she's a beaut. That's, she's a beaut. That's end to end, and that's a much better looking level. I had to sell my left nut to get this thing too. <laughs> Anyways, do you uh, do you want to show oh, that? So. We got Kawasaki. These guys don't even ride cruisers over in Japan, <laughs> and yet they somehow figured out how to get it right. So now you're just cruising down the street. You don't even need to lift your foot. You just click it like this. Super easy. And then we got another. Not to, not to, over here. Not, not to mention, put your foot back in there. You could have a size 14 shoe. And you know, and fit in there perfectly. It's, you know, it it's it's fine, totally yeah. doesn't matter somehow what size the, shoe you're wearing. Somehow the Japanese figured it out. I I I am straining to comprehend what the hell they did here. Anyways, we're gonna change them out real quick and see what it looks like after. So here, let's take this one off first, and we'll kind of show you how it comes stock, which is just unbelievable to me. So I believe the. the this Allen wrench is uh, three sixteenths, I believe. Which is that metric? You know, I probably have all metrics. <laughs> we own six bikes, and this is the only uh, Imperial one here. So that's yeah, three sixteenths. Okay, perfect. Is it got a nut underneath the bottom? Yeah, there's a nut under the bottom here. Careful not to lose it because it will just flop off there because you don't really know it's there. So take that off, slide it right off. The thing you got to remember is this has got to come completely out because if it's just loose, really loose, it won't come off here. It's got to be completely out. It kind of goes into this groove here. It's like a groove and if this screw is not out, it won't pull off. So stock, it came like that. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. If you have a bad hit, you don't want to be doing this. It's, it's stupid. Anyways, so let's get the other one. I'm going to reuse these little, the little pegs. And um, let's see. This is a quarter, one quarter. Yeah. All right, are you recording? All right, so... I'm redoing them both. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the front one a little bit longer, but I don't want mismatched shit, so I'd rather settle with good looks over quality. <laughs> well, that's why you bought this bike, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you're careful. You're going to get lots of hate mail for that. Uh, good looks, no quality. <laughs> Uh, that should be the Harley motto. Yeah, yeah. Sure it should. <laughs> Ugh. She's dirty right there. Alright. Alright, so I came with the two levers. And the, uh, oh, one thing I wanted to show you. Is. Oh, wait. Oh. The peg had red Loctite on there. I'm gonna put it back on with blue. That's like, 
the smallest strip of Loctite on a screw I've ever seen. Know, right? How would they even do that? Let me drop it right there. I mean, I don't know how you get, you know, if you put one drop of Loctite on there, one drop, it's going to spread over that entire bolt. <laughs> and they got that little teeny line. Are you sure that's Loctite? Uh, yeah, because I had to stress to get that shit off. Mm. Did you do this one? This one, no. I'm going to take off that one later. You don't need to watch me do that. No, we want to see the struggle. No, you don't. <laughs> Now these are uh, worth mentioning are genuine, genuine overpri parts. overpriced Harley Davidson parts. Yep. So like these are the basically the ones they should have put on the bike, and I'm not going to pick on Harley for that because all bike manufacturers do that, especially with these seats. But yeah, these are the ones they should have put on the bike. But since the bike only cost twenty five thousand, they couldn't afford to put those nice ones on there. So, um, I'm going to try to do this one a little bit. God, that's way too far up there. But see, now you can line this up to where it's going to land. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Right behind the, the foot pad. That's about the same, huh? Well, you gotta wait and put put the thing on. Huh? You gotta put the back on and see where you like it before you choose the position. Well, that's it. I mean, if I keep it up higher, it's gonna be in the same exact spot it was before. Well, I mean, like I said, it's hard to tell without the thing in there. Well, it's a little better, but barely. Yeah, you definitely got to go the lower. It's, it's the same angle. It's just farther oh. back. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't understand no. like, where all these little grooves go. It just automatically shifts that far down. There you go. It's perfect. You got plenty of room. I might have to take that front one off and adjust it later. It's just way too far up there for me. How do you adjust it? Oh. Oh, you mean up or up or down? Yeah. Maybe I'll just put it down. So. Just go down. And make it a toe toe <laughs> heel no. heel heel shifter. Lower it enough. I mean. At the same end, can you look, angle it as the same in the back one? See how that feels. Basically right there. And right there. I'm going to have to ride it to make sure I like that shit. Well, you're going to like the back one for sure. So, see right here how you got the rubber. Yeah, keep rubber your hand on one side. There you go, perfect. Grommet. If it's like that, if it's pushed in, you won't be able to get the screw in. So you gotta make sure to pull it all the way out and shove this in. And then you put the screw in. Too high. You couldn't have ordered these like with a a longer you know rear lever and a shorter front lever. No, nope. well, I'm sure they have a look alike, but they came paired. So you have to buy two pairs, <laughs> and, then, yeah, and, then, right? and then send the other pairs back. Send them back. 
Yeah, nobody. Oh will, yeah. Nobody will know. Match them together and then yeah. send them back. They won't. They're not gonna sit there and measure them. I may have to because I don't like that front one at all. All right, I'm gonna put a little Loctite in here, except I'm gonna do it blue this time because I think the red is. Watch out, that shit gets everywhere. It stains. A overkill. Sound like you've had experience with that. Getting everywhere and staining. Well, there's actually still a teeny little stain on my Yamaha from that shit, and I'll never forget it or forgive it, so, uh, yeah. So the new ones didn't come with the nut on the bottom. They just screwed right into the other side of the shift lever. All right. I didn't take this one off yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a pain in the ass. That wasn't that bad. We just hit the last couple of little notches with the Loctite. That's skill. That is it. But. Looks cool. I love the levers. The main reason for me doing this is this back one. Now, I really don't even have to lift my foot. I can just be cruising down the street. And just click, click, click. The front one's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's not bad. No. Like I said, if you just keep your, you know, you put your foot in the middle, you're, it's going to be... I actually want it up a little bit, but I don't like it down there. Okay, so we determined that the front one... Now here we go. Now here we go. We'll leave the house for two fucking minutes. <laughs> Hello? I'm at, uh, Anthony's house. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, they're fine. Alright. Oh, just looking at my motorcycle. Oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, because I'm coming home and I'm like, bye. Okay, so we lifted the front up, and that definitely is better. It makes a big difference. You want to get on again? So now I just got blink, blink, blink. It's good. I like it. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Adios. All right. Amigos. Shift levers on a Harley Davidson Street Triple 2017. What? Special edition. Sorry.